As of the time we're making this video, the Israel-Hamas war death toll has crossed the 2500 mark. Saying to myself, why do we deserve this? Why? <laughs> The Israeli Prime Minister has ordered a complete siege of Gaza. And Hamas fighters have killed more than a thousand Israelis in assaults on multiple towns in southern Israel. Israeli Infrastructure Minister Israel Katz said in a tweet that he had ordered to immediately cut off the water supply from Israel to Gaza. But what is the history of this conflict? And why has the world still not been able to solve this? Today we'll discuss all this and more. Welcome to the International Hotspot. And today we'll be talking about the history of the Israel-Palestine conflict. But before we start, why don't you just hit the subscribe button? It helps us a lot. This is Israel. And this is Jerusalem, the main reason behind the conflict. Chapter 1 History Let's go back to the history pages. Around 1047 BC, the Kingdom of Israel emerged as a significant political and cultural center in the region. It was established following the conquest led by King David and his successor King Solomon. The kingdom was centered in Jerusalem and it played a vital role in the development of Judaism. Jerusalem was the place where King Solomon built the first temple of Jews named Temple Mount. After the death of Solomon, the kingdom split into two, the kingdom of Israel in the north and the kingdom of Judah in the south. In 586 BC, the Babylonians captured Jerusalem, destroyed the first temple and exiled many Jews to Babylon. After the Babylonian Empire fell, some Jews returned to Jerusalem under Persian rule, marking the beginning of the Second Temple period. The reconstruction of the Second Temple became a significant undertaking, and Jewish religious practices flourished. In the 4th century BC, Alexander the Great's conquest brought Hellenistic culture to the region. And yes, the Romans also destroyed the Second Temple and only a wall was left. After Alexander's death, the area was ruled by the Ptolemic and Seleucid dynasties, leading to tensions between Hellenistic rulers and Jewish religious traditions. In 167 BC, the Jews revolted against the Seleucids in a struggle for religious freedom. This rebellion, led by the Maccabees, eventually resulted in the establishment of an independent Jewish state. In 63 BC, the Roman Empire led by Pompey conquered the region and incorporated it into the Roman province of Judea. Under Roman rule, the Jews faced varying degrees of oppression, taxation and restrictions. And some Jews had to migrate and in that time Jesus Christ was born in one of the families who preferred to stay. In 63 BC, the Roman Empire conquered the region, including Judea where Jesus lived and preached. The Roman occupation during Jesus' time had a profound impact on the religious and political climate of the region. He was born a Jew, but he started preaching his own teachings. The most significant event related to Jesus in this context is his crucifixion. It is believed that Jesus was arrested, tried and crucified by Roman authorities in Jerusalem a critical moment in Christian tradition. Following Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, his followers, known as Christians, spread his teachings throughout the Roman Empire. Chapter 2 The Importance of Jerusalem Everything was going fine, but on one evening of July 25, 306, the Roman ruler Flavius Valerius died. And this is when his son Constantine the Great became in charge. 
and this character will play a major role in all this. He was the first emperor to convert to Christianity, and in his era, Christianity starts spreading and also the hatred towards Jews because they were the ones responsible for the crucifixion of Jesus. So, Jews had to migrate throughout the world, majorly in Europe, to save their lives. And meanwhile all this, the place where Jesus was crucified, Constantine made a church of the Holy Sepulchre, only two kilometers away from Temple Mount. And then in 638 AD, Islamic forces captured Jerusalem and the city became a holy site in Islam. Jesus as a prophet in Islamic tradition is also an important figure for Muslims. Jerusalem, known as Al-Quds in Arabic, holds immense significance in Islam. It is the third holiest city in Islam after Mecca and Medina. According to Islamic tradition, it was from the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem that the Prophet Muhammad embarked on his night journey to the heavens. So this little area is important for Jews, Christians and Muslims as well. Jews might have migrated to all parts of the world, but in their heart, they had the love for their home and a hope to go back there sometime. Now let's move forward to the year 1891, and the Arabs were in the area where Jews once ruled. Chapter 3 Zionist Movement In the 19th century, the Israel-Palestine conflict was marked by the emergence of influential figures who played a pivotal role in shaping the Zionist movement, one of whom was Leon Pinsker. Pinsker was a Jewish physician, publicist and a prominent figure in the early Zionist movement. Born in Poland, he witnessed firsthand the rise of anti-Semitism in Europe, particularly during the pogroms of the 19th century. In 1882, Pinsker wrote a seminal work titled Auto Emancipation. In his pamphlet, he argued that Jews should strive for their own national identity and homeland. He contended that Jews could not depend on the goodwill of other nations for their emancipation and should take matters into their own hands. Pinsker's ideas laid the intellectual groundwork for the Zionist movement which sought to establish a Jewish homeland in Palestine. His call for Jewish self-determination and the establishment of a Jewish state was influential in a period when Jewish communities across Europe were facing discrimination and violence. The First World War played a significant role in the Israel-Palestine conflict by reshaping the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. The war led to the disintegration of the Ottoman Empire, which had ruled over the region for centuries. With the defeat of the Ottomans, the League of Nations granted Britain and France mandates over Palestine and other territories. This period marked a crucial turning point as it set the stage for increased Jewish immigration to Palestine under the British mandate. Little did the Jews know they had another enemy waiting for them. The Muslim countries around Palestine didn't like it. It also heightened tensions between Jewish and Arab communities, foreshadowing the conflicts that would escalate in the years leading up to the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948. The Arab population, frustrated with British policies and the ongoing influx of Jewish immigrants, launched a series of revolts against both British rule and Jewish settlements. These revolts prompted the British to reconsider their mandate and immigration policies. Chapter 4 The Formation of Israel In the aftermath of World War II and the Holocaust, international sentiment grew in favor of establishing a Jewish homeland. In 1947, the United Nations proposed a partition plan for Palestine which aimed to divide the territory into separate Jewish and Arab states, with Jerusalem as an international city. The plan was accepted by Jewish leaders but rejected by Arab states, leading to a complex situation on the ground. On May 14, 1948, David Ben-Gurion declared the establishment of the State of Israel. This declaration 
was followed by a war between Israel and several Arab states known as the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. The war resulted in a significant Palestinian exodus known as the Nakba. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinian Arabs were displaced from their homes, and this ignited a fire that is still uncontrollable. In 1956, Israel, the UK and France invaded Egypt during the Suez Crisis, exacerbating regional tensions. In 1967, Israel fought and won the Six-Day War, capturing the West Bank, Gaza Strip and other territories. The occupation of these territories became a central issue in the conflict. The Oslo Accords signed in the 1990s aimed to establish a peace process and led to the establishment of the Palestinian Authority in parts of the West Bank and Gaza. The construction of Israeli settlements in the West Bank has been a major point of contention. These settlements are seen as a significant obstacle to the creation of a viable Palestinian state. The Gaza Strip has seen repeated conflicts between Israel and Hamas, a Palestinian militant group. Hamas is a Palestinian political and militant organization founded in 1987 during the First Intifada, Palestinian uprising. It is recognized as both a political party and an armed resistance group. Hamas is known for its strong presence in the Gaza Strip, where it won legislative elections in 2006. The group's charter calls for the establishment of an Islamic state in historic Palestine and the rejection of Israel's existence. It has engaged in armed conflicts with Israel, launching rockets from Gaza. Hamas's governance and its role in the Israeli-Palestine conflict have made it a significant and controversial actor in the region. In the shadow of a land that has borne witness to countless struggles and sorrows, the Israel-Palestine conflict reminds us of the enduring human cost of war. It is a somber chapter in the annals of history but it need not be the conclusion. As we navigate the turbulent currents of time, let us remember that the truest path to healing is the pursuit of peace. In the spirit of shared humanity, let us extend our hands, not in defiance, but in reconciliation. For it is only in the embrace of peace that we can write a new chapter, a brighter one, where the cries of children drown out the echoes of the past, and where the seeds of hope can finally flourish. And with the hope of peace, it's time for us to call it a day. But we do hope that you liked the video and found it informative. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.